Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. It doesn't cost anything, it means others can benefit from these messages. This is your monthly message for August. Healing, healing energy, beautiful. Finding. And trust. So what we've got here is we've got healing. So you could be recovering from an illness or any kind of challenges you've been through. If you've had a challenging time, it's time to step back here and uh, look after yourself. Um, pamper, your, pamper yourself, you know, take care of yourself here because you're on your way through trusting here, trusting in your abilities and universe and trusting you can move on from whatever you're healing from here, you're going to find the way forward. Now, this could be answers coming in. You could be inspired new ideas that come forward. It could be finding self-love again. It could be finding yourself again in a spiritual sense if you've been through challenging times. But we've got to trust we have the ability to heal and move on and the universe is going to help us uh, connect in with us to do that. So let's see what else we can see. Spirit, show me clearly. Yeah. Ace of Wands. The Three of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords here is somebody who, who cuts people in situations out of life that no longer serve her, quite simply. She trusts herself to make good judgments. She comes from an intellectual place. She trusts in the path she's going down. Um, nobody gets in her road. So she's healed from things. She's taken this intelligent approach to things. She's been very methodical in strategizing here. It can be a card of strategy. Um, you're realizing and finding out on this challenge, the challenge through, I beg your pardon, through the challenges you've been through, you're finding out what's to stay and what's to go because you've realized and Spirit wants for you to go down a brand new path for growth. Now, this could be anything. This is the divorce card. I'm saying she, it's not a gender specific reading. I'm talking about the energies on the cards here. This could be you going back to single life. This could be you healing from challenges that have been within a relationship. If it's not a relationship, it could be you just starting brand new beginnings. You could be starting up your own business, taking up a new relationship, learning something new, uh, going back to college venturing out the home for the first time, anything you're inspired to do here. But you're going to have to come from an intellectual place and you're going to have to make decisions here, intelligence decisions to bring that about. And once you've done this, you're going to be able to, to build solid foundations for your future again. So stability is coming back here after challenging times, after healing from whatever you've been through here. Now, this is a collaborative card, so it can be you collaborating with someone else or a group of people. So this could be a new job opportunity. It could be joining college and you've got good college colleagues around you, uh, supportive energies in that sense. But what you're seeing here is your hard work will pay off. Anything you invest in here is going to stand the test of time because it's solid. Um, your hard work as well, your skills are going to be recognised here. So you might be finding what you're good at here. You know, you're healing from past challenges. You've been inspired to take up a brand new path here. You're planning, making the right decisions here. You're cutting out the things that no longer serve you because you've found out what you want to invest your money, yourself, your energies into or who you want to invest uh, your time in. So we'll just take three more. There's your King of Swords. There's your Eight of Pentacles, beautiful, what was saying earlier, and there's the World card. Now, this here is about focusing. It's about collaborating with people, focusing. Like I say, you've got a good skill set here. Whatever you're putting your efforts into, you're good at. You'll lay a solid foundation, and if you stay focused and you get your head down and do the work, you will see growth will come back into your life. Now, this could involve information coming forward here so that you can start down this brand new path. Uh, the information could help with your healing process. This could be legal information. It could be any kind of doctor, any kind of professional that's coming forward with information for you. Or it could be somebody simply speaking to you here. Now, this is a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius energy. It's like somebody who's prepared to lay their cards on the table with you. So it could be that you're having a discussion with somebody here uh, that you trust. It could be somebody you trust here that's knowledgeable and it's helping you see the way forward. So discussions definitely taking place for brand new opportunities here. And through 
this intellectual, these intellectual decisions and your determination here and to go forward and trusting in your abilities to build and take up new opportunities, you're going to create a brand new chapter in your life. So a new life cycle is beginning. The end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one. We'll take a fairy message, Spirit, please. Moon energy. Moon energy. Here we are. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. So if there's challenging times, it's time to step back here, pamper yourself and take on an intellectual approach and you will heal and things will become clear. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.